Hello and welcome to Cricket House Gaming. Here at Cricket House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to explore our gameplay as Prime Minister of Australia. When I hit that button, we will be entering our first term of our second year as Prime Minister of Australia. Let's see how we did. Poverty is down. Stop and search. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. There are demands from the police for the power to stop and search people on the street if they believe the individual may be guilty of a crime. Currently, our police cannot search someone without formally arresting them. Introduce powers. This will be a valuable weapon to fight against crime and should have a noticeable impact on violent and street crime, especially... If our citizens have nothing to hide, then they have nothing to fear from this law. Leave unchanged. This is a very dangerous move. It's wide open to abuse on racial grounds and will further distance the police from the community. Our citizens should be free to go about their lawful business without interference from the authorities. We're going to leave it unchanged. The liberals are happy at plus 11%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing we have a potentially bad situation. Technological backwater on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. The government is currently running a budget a deficit of 17.13 billion Australian dollars. We should take steps to reduce this. Polls report. The polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 2% of the vote in an election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be passable. Economic forecast. The global economy is doing okay. We are in neither a boom nor a bust cycle. Security briefing. The Environmental Alliance is criticizing our government policies on Lyme forums. We have 12 political capitals to spend. Let's take a look at our ministers. We are having a problem with our public service minister and our foreign policy minister. Let us fire the public service minister. I'm looking at suitability and what they'll bring to us. Self-employed and the poor for Brandon Bell. We're gonna hire Brandon Bell. The foreign policy minister really is unhappy with our choice for our public service minister. Let's fire her. It won't take any political capital to fire her because she is so miserable. Let us hire Timothy Wright. And now we just have our economy person is totally miserable, but we're going to leave him there. We have 11 political capital to spend. Young Entrepreneur Scheme. The scheme is to help and support young people who are aiming to become businessmen in the future by giving them opportunities to learn from veterans and detailed information about what to do and who to ask. This will increase the happiness among the capitalists as they see their future secure. This is 94% popular with the vote. This will increase capitalism. This will make the youth happy. This will lower socialism. Let's implement this policy. We will raise it slightly. We have five political capital to spend. Health food subsidy is a tax incentive that makes healthy foods such as fruit and vegetables cheaper than high fat or high sugar foods. This is seen as an incentive to eat well rather than punishment of for eating badly, thus less punitive on the poor than a fat tax. This will increase health, this will increase plant-based diets, this will lower our food price. This is 60% popular with the vote, let us implement this policy. I'm looking to lower food prices, we'll raise this to medium, we will apply the changes, we have two political capital to spend. Intelligence services, security services are an essential tool in the fight against organized crime and terrorism. Good, reliable intelligence can be difficult and expensive to obtain, and in many cases, the methods employed can be unpopular with liberals and human rights advocates. This is 4% popular with the vote. We do have organized crime. We are going to use two political capital to increase our high-tech spy service. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend, and thus we are at the end of our first term of our second year as Prime Minister of Australia. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering the second term of our second year as Prime Minister of Australia. Let's see how we did. Crime is down. Education is down. Poverty is down. Health is up. Unemployment is up. Pollution. The environmental experts tell us that the country's pollution problem is now under control. Our citizens no longer need to wear face masks when cycling to work. Hostage situation. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. A group of religious extremists have taken some hostages at gunpoint and are threatening to kill them unless their demands regarding foreign policy are not met. The demands they make are not that extreme, but it might be dangerous to be seen to negotiate. Given to demands. The best thing we can do here is to be reasonable. Give in at least partially to their demands. That way we can ensure nobody gets hurt and the situation doesn't spiral out of control. Taking extreme action against these people could only cause racial tension. Send in the police. There's no negotiating with hostage takers. Do so would open the floodgates of total chaos. It's unfortunate for those citizens taken hostage. We need to storm the building 
building right now and try and get those people freed. If that means shooting the hostage takers and losing a few hostages, that's the price we will pay. We're sending in the police. The religions are unhappy at negative 15%. The liberals are unhappy at negative 15%, but we're seen as a strong leader at plus 10%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Doctor strike on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. There's a budget deficit of 18.33 billion Australian dollars. We need to reduce spending or raise taxes. Polls report. Your approval rating is disappointing. If we believe the polls, you would get just 1% of the vote. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be passable. Security briefing. The Environmental Alliance is criticizing your government policies in online forums. We have 12 political capital to spend. Let's take a look at our ministers. We have two ministers that are totally, totally miserable. Our economy minister and our tax minister. I'm going to leave them as they are right now. I don't need to be spending our political capital on firing them. State health service. Although many citizens would be happy to pay privately for their own health treatment, there is an argument that state has a duty to provide a minimum level of free health treatment for everyone regardless of income. Health provision can be expensive, so it's a matter of debate as to how much should be spent. We are going to spend a political capital and we are going to lower what the government invests in state health service. We will apply the changes. We have four political capital to spend. Armed police. Arming police officers can be an effective strategy in deterring crime and maintaining order. Opponents would argue that this encourages criminals to use firearms in a criminal arms race. Critics also worry that arming the police will distance them from law-abiding citizens. This is 16% popular with the vote. We are trying to address our organized crime. We are trying to lower our violent crime. Let us use three political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Health food subsidies, the tax initiative that makes healthy foods such as fruits and vegetables cheaper than high fat or high sugar foods, seen as an incentive to eat well rather than a punishment for eating badly, thus less punitive on the or than a fat tax. This is 50% popular with the vote. We will use our last political capital to increase this to high. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our second term of our second year as Prime Minister of Australia. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our third term of our second year as Prime Minister of Australia. Let's see how we did. Crime is down. The GDP is up. Poverty is down. Food crisis. Food crisis. Food prices have returned to their normal levels. Sexual assault. There is a national outrage as a woman's sexual assault on public transport is widely reported. Violent crime against women is abhorrent. That rape could be committed in public without anyone interceding is a damning indictment of our society. The electorate are demanding that the lawlessness and gender equality be addressed by the government. The liberals are unhappy at negative 20%. Major donor abandoned party. It looks like you have not been keeping an eye on the opinions of a major financial backers. One of our wealthy donors has cut their support for our party. This may have an effect on our ability to campaign effectively unless we can find a replacement donor and keep them. We are seen as a strong leader at negative 20%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Tax evasion on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. The government is currently running a budget deficit of 16 billion Australian dollars. We should take steps to reduce this. Polls report the government is not popular amongst its citizens. Only 6% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be passable. Let us continue. We have 12 political capital to spend. Legalized sex work. Conservatives claim that the legalization of prostitution would mark a severe decline in family values. Others claim that as prostitution is unlikely to disappear even if illegal, it's better for society and sex workers that the practice is regulated and monitored rather Rather than criminalize. The fact that we had a female assaulted in public and no one did anything about it. This is making me as the head of the Holy Justice Alliance think that legalized sex work is to blame. We're going to lose three political capital. We're going to lower it. We will apply the changes. We have nine political capital to spend. CCTV cameras. CCTV cameras can be a great help in catching criminals and cameras can also deter crime. The installation costs are extremely high and there are concerns about civil rights from people who don't like to feel that the government is constantly watching them. This is 25% popular with the vote. Right now we have it in town centers. This will help to lower our violent crime and our crime and our antisocial behavior. We will invest three political capital to make CCTVs widespread. We will apply the changes. We have six political capital to spend. Car tax. Taxing the ownership of all motor vehicles is one way to persuade people to use alternate forms of transportation. It can be argued however that such a system
system increases the fixed cost of car ownership, encouraging people to use a car more once they have gone to the trouble of taxing it. There is also an argument that this is a tax that unfairly hits the poor and people in rural communities where a car is a necessity. This is 16% popular with the vote. We are going to use six political capital. This will raise 0.35 billion Australian dollars. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our third term of our second year as Prime Minister of Australia. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our fourth term of our second year as Prime Minister of Australia. Let's see how we did. Prime is down. The GDP is up. Improved Tennessee rights. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. There is currently a proposal to increase the rights of tenants in rented accommodation. The fear of being suddenly thrown out of your home or having rent raised to an affordable levels or waiting ages for repairs is making rented accommodation extremely undesirable and tenants are demanding something is done. Keep current rights. The rental market is a good example of a free market where landlords will compete for the best tenants and tenants can pick and choose their homes based on price, location and reputation. There is no need for further burdensome legislation here. If tenants find a landlord to be offering bad service, they are free to move to other premises. Improved tenants rights. Many people simply cannot afford the deposit to buy a house and are resigned to renting their whole lives. The lack of decent protections for random eviction or rent increases that these people never have peace of mind or stability of that homeowners enjoy. Landlords who take their duties seriously have nothing to fear from sensible improvements to the law. We are going to improve tenant rights. The poor are happy at plus 11%. The socialists are happy at plus 5%. The capitalists are unhappy at negative 8%. And the wealthy are unhappy at negative 10%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation technological back water on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. There is a budget deficit of 14.63 billion Australian dollars. We need to reduce spending or raise taxes. Polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 15% of the vote in an election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be passable. Security briefing. Environmental Alliance are criticizing government policies and online forums. We have 13 political capital to spend. Faith school subsidies. Religious schools can achieve good academic standards. The supporters make a case that the government should subsidize methods of education that are proven to be effective. Critics say that religion has no place in education and that government cannot be seen to push a particular religion on children. But this is 100% popular with the vote. We are going to spend nine political capital. We are going to raise this to high. We will apply the changes. We have four political capital to spend. Intelligence services. Security systems are an essential tool in the fight against organized crime and terrorism. Good reliable intelligence can be difficult and expensive to obtain. In many cases, the methods can be unpopular with liberals and human rights advocates. This is 2% popular with the vote. We are trying to lower our organized crime. We are going to spend two political capital to increase our high-tech spy service. We will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. Science funding. In some countries, the majority of research is funded by private companies. State-sponsored science can be useful for investing in long-term research projects or those that may not be commercially rewarding. The benefits of state sector research are freely available to the entire population rather than patented by corporations. This is 0% popular with the vote, but we are fighting off a technological backwater. We will use two political capital to increase this. This will lower unemployment slightly. This will increase our technology and our energy efficiency, and this will help the GDP. Let us apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend, and thus we are at the end of our fourth term of our second year as Prime Minister of Australia, and thus we are at the the end of this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.